Hi everyone. In this video, I want to talk about one of the ways in which we can classify polymers. That is, we can classify polymers as homopolymers or copolymers. Let's begin with a homopolymer. A homopolymer is a polymer that is constructed of a single monomer, which should make sense when examining the name, right? We can interpret homo to mean the same. So, it is a polymer made up of only the same monomer. So, if we have these orange balls representing monomer A, and these green squares representing polymer B, then we can have two different homopolymers, one constructed only of polymer A, and another constructed of only polymer B. Now that we have an understanding of what a homopolymer is, what do you think a copolymer could be? Well, a copolymer is a polymer that is constructed of more than one monomer. Now, copolymers are certainly more diverse than homopolymers, as we can have tons of different configurations. Let's go through some now so that you have an idea of how diverse copolymers can actually get. So, let's write down our legend again. Firstly, we could have an alternating copolymer. This is when monomers A and B alternate when creating a polymer structure. Secondly, we could have block copolymers, which are similar to alternating copolymers, except that there are groups of either monomer connected together, but they are broken up in an alternating fashion by groups of the other monomer. Thirdly, we could have what is called a graft polymer, which is essentially a homopolymer base with branches of another monomer-based homopolymer grafted on. We can take grafted to be another way of saying attached or connected. Lastly, we could have no real structure at all between the two connecting monomers. This is simply called a random copolymer. There is no distinct pattern in the way in which the monomers are connected together. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding about the difference between a homopolymer and a copolymer. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.